Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I'm packing in my hospital bag. I am currently 38 weeks pregnant. Here I'll show you guys. Big old belly. Um, yeah, so I figured that it was time to film this video. Honestly, I'm such a procrastinator. I just packed my bag I'm not even kidding like I just before this video I finished putting in like last minute things and yeah so let's just get right into it okay so as far as bag um all I'm using is this Michael Kors like duffel bag and it actually is like the perfect size for everything um you don't need much. This is my third baby. I have realized that the hospital provides you with a lot of things. So even if you think that you don't have everything, it's okay. Um, the hospital really does give you so much. And if you are lucky enough to have someone, you know, like a family member or a really good friend who lives close by the hospital um, and your house, then they can always stop by and bring you something in case you forgot it and um yeah i really didn't want to overpack well i get out of breath just by talking so <laughs> i'm so ready to have this baby but yeah so i'm just gonna jump right into everything that i have packed and i'm not gonna go in any type of order i'm just kind of gonna pull out of the bag and that's about it so i know that for this one thing the hospital does provide a lot but i do want to keep some just in case um you never know i just i'm that type of person i always say you never know so i bought some of these they are just the overnight maxi pads so they're super long um i got the extra heavy overnight and I don't know what size 5 means, I'm just assuming it's like the biggest one that you could get and they do have wings and um, lots of hours of protection. So I did want to make sure that I had these and if anything I'll just keep them at home. You know if I don't use them in the hospital it's fine, I'm going to need them either way. So got those. I'm going to start with like my toiletries and stuff. Now I have already had my other two kids. Um, I had them naturally so I only had to stay one night um, from what I can remember but this one I am you know praying and hoping that everything goes smooth and that I can be out the next day so one night is all I'm really thinking hopefully it's not more but just in case I did want to pack some toiletries because I know that the hospital provides some but honestly I'm picky and you never know right so first I just have a wet brush for my hair just in case um, I have a deodorant this is just the love beauty and planet um, I always use this one at home so I'm just gonna bring it and then I have two toothbrushes with toothpaste um, these will be for my husband and I so that we're prepared to brush our teeth. That is one thing I will be doing. I don't care how many days I stay, I'm brushing my teeth. Like, guys. <laughs> Another thing I'm bringing is a face moisturizer. So, I don't know if you guys can see. It's just the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer. And I do like that it's a travel size um, because, you know, it's tiny, it goes, fits right in the bag, and I don't have to carry, like, my whole thing of it. And then, this is kind of random, but I am packing just a Wet n Wild concealer. Um, I like this because it's just, like, my skin tone, and I can really just apply it under my eyes, because I know that that's what is going to be, like, the worst is my, um, under eye bags. So, I just wanted to pack this so I don't look like a zombie if I have visitors, you know, I like want to look somewhat like a human, so, after birth, so I do want to um, pack that. And then I just have a travel size body wash, I have a travel size shampoo and conditioner. Um, I do not use these at home, I just, obviously I'm not going to like splurge on 
crazy stuff. So I just picked these up really quick. And uh, last but not least, I am packing this little Burt's Bees uh, chapstick because I have been reading so much about bringing a lip balm during your labor. Um, I've never done that before, but I have heard that your lips get really dry. I don't remember mine getting dry, but of course if you're dehydrated or whatever, um, you're going to want that and it just keeps your lips moisturized throughout your uh, labor. So that's that for toiletries. As far as, um, I guess like miscellaneous, I'm going to go through like, I think I only have like one miscellaneous thing, but um, I am bringing a heating pad because whenever I wasn't pregnant and I had like my period cramps, I always use a heating pad because I get such bad pain in my lower back when I have them. And I also do remember with my other two pregnancies that I got such bad back labor. So I'm bringing this this time. I've never brought it before and I hope that they let me use it. They should. But I'm hoping that this helps. Otherwise, I'm using hot water from the shower because the back labor is no joke. <laughs> um, and then... I do have my husband's outfit in here, so I'm just going to put that to the side. Um, I do suggest, like, if you're going with your spouse or whoever, that you just pack everything in one bag. You don't want to have to be worrying about, you know, multiple bags, blah, blah, blah. It's just going to be too much. So, as far as, like, clothing and stuff like that, I'm just bringing this robe right here that I've had for quite some time. And um, I've just read that being in your own robe sometimes, you know, it can feel a lot more homey and comforting uh, rather than being in the hospital gown. Um, that's if they let me wear this. But even after I give birth, I'll probably just want to throw this on uh, just to be out of like the hospital gown. You know, like I don't like being in those things. They make me feel like I'm in the hospital and I just don't like it. So I'm going to be bringing my own that from Target. I'm not sure if they still sell it. I've had it for quite some time, like I said. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Next, um, I was actually gifted these. They are postpartum um, panties. And I was gifted these uh, for my baby shower. So, I'm very grateful for that because I've heard really good things about these. And I um, think they come in a pack of five. And they are high-waisted granny panties. So cute, so attractive. <laughs> but yeah, they're high-waisted, so you can, um, you know, cover that jelly belly, I call it, because it literally feels like jello after you deliver. And just everything feels like so gross. So I like that these go over my stomach because then I feel like it kind of keeps everything together. And they're really lightweight. They're super soft and silky. And um, I know that they will also fit the pad pretty well too. You don't want to get something that's too narrow down there because then the pad is not going to fit. So I love these. And in case you're wondering, these are by Kindred, Bra Kindred Bravely. So I'm just going to show you the little card so that you guys can see. Looks like this. Um, and there's a website and everything. I can link everything down below for you guys um, in case you are interested. So those are the postpartum underwear. I'm going to be going through those a lot. So I'm hoping five is enough because if not, I mean, I can just buy more. But whatever. So yeah. Oh, I have another miscellaneous thing. Um, so I was also gifted this for my baby shower and I'm so grateful for this because I mean, if I didn't get it for that, I would have bought it either way because I've just heard how good it is. But this is the Freedom Mom Upside Down Perry Bottle. And focus. It just looks like this. And as you can see, it's got a kind of bent tip. Because I know that the hospital does provide you with the peri bottle, but it's just a straight up like squirt bottle. And I remember it just being so hard and so uncomfortable trying to like aim it and like, you know, whatever. So I love that this has a little bent tip so that you just put it right under and it's already going up. So I'm like super excited for this. This is my first time uh, using it. 
so we'll see how it is but yeah I thought that would come in handy so all right next I'm gonna do my going home outfit last this is all my husband's stuff once again so I'm gonna put that to the side um, yeah I really don't have much so two more things I have actually three more things I forgot um, but I just have these nursing bras I have a pink it's a very light pink I have a nude and then I also have a black but I think it's I've already worn it just to see how it feels but these are just from Amazon um, I can definitely link them below they're super soft and I like how um, how thick like the band is in the back because if you've ever breastfed before you know that they the girls can get heavy and they can get big and just like full of milk so it's not very comfortable but I like how uh, supportive this bra is and it also has so many come on focus it has so many um, little clamps so it kind of grows as you grow or you know if you decide to stop breastfeeding it'll go down and you can still you know uh, make it smaller and just wear it for the comfortability because these are super comfortable and they do come in a pack of three I don't know if I said that but I will link them um, from Amazon and then I will be bringing uh, my own slippers these are just from Victoria's Secret I know that some people are like those are not necessary whatever but I want to be comfortable and I'm also going to bring some socks with me too because I know that the hospital ones they'll probably give me some but just in case um, I'll probably bring some in case I get cold and yeah so just these little slippers and then I have my going home outfit so this is just like a lounge set from Victoria's Secret uh, I just have these chocolate brown kind of like jogger pants which I love and I love that they are adjustable at the waist because I know that you know I don't want anything tight or restricting after giving birth and then it comes with this matching top and it just has like a few buttons and it's also super loose and it's like a waffle material and it's really soft so I think it'll be perfect because uh, we are in January and I'm due at the end of the month so if it is cold um, I'll just be going home in this and it'll be comfortable and warm and I also do have um, I'm gonna include baby's going home outfit in this video I was gonna include it in what I am packing in her bag but I'm just gonna include it in this video so I will be right back <clears throat> okay so I do have um like being a little extra but I do have two outfits that I am bringing for baby and two for like photos wise um, otherwise I'm also going to be packing just like some plain onesies just to like throw on her and um, so the first one I got both of these from H&M by the way I can try and link them below if they have them online I got them in the store though um, but the first one is this little sweater it's like a cream color sweater and it comes with these little matching pants they're so cute they're like little jogger pants um but if it is cold I will be putting this on her so it just looks like that and I had the idea of having like one outfit being for uh just like a photo to put on Instagram like her very first photo and then the other outfit will be to go home so the second one is this little ribbed outfit so these are the pants it's a very like nudie pink um and then it has this ribbed onesie which i love so cute that comes with it and then i also oh, i don't know where it went but it also comes with a matching hat so yeah i thought those outfits were super cute and i'm really excited to put those on her for the day that she's born and the day after but yeah that is everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be on the lookout for my next video because I have already pre-recorded it. Um, I'm just going to wait to upload it a little, little bit after this video. I'm going to let this one go up first. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment if you have any questions or, you know, whatever. I hope you guys um, found this video helpful and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.